everyone, it's Martin Root again with Project Heaven on Earth with today's Heaven Maker. And I'm delighted, really delighted to welcome Elizabeth. I have to look at this because I have to say it correctly. Elizabeth Ziegler, who is in Lienz in Tyrol, Austria. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Martin. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much. Um, Elizabeth, you did my 12-week Heaven on Earth course, and we're really engaged in it. And out of that, you created what was really surprising to me, um, a project to, to make Austria a heaven on earth country. That was pretty big because one of the sessions we looked at was heaven on earth for your country. And very few people at this stage anyway can grasp that, but you got it and you went for it. So tell us about the, you know, the course and why you chose this as your project. Yes. Um, I think the course was very inspiring for me. And to choose the whole country as a heaven and earth country is very easy for me because we live in a very, uh, in a wonderful surrounding, in a secure country. We have everything for, you need for heaven and earth. The only thing that uh, maybe is not enough, that's the information about other people who are also working for to improve the, the situations, not only in Austria, but uh, all over the world. And uh, my decision to work for it was more from my heart, first from my heart, and then I start to think about how to do it. And then I thought I like to work with Wiki um, technology. That's the easiest way for me to collect information. And so I started the Heaven on Earth Wiki and, and, and started collecting institutions and persons and private projects of, uh, who, from heaven makers all over Austria first, but then I decided to, uh, collect all over the world where I can get any information I collected for this wiki. Well, let me go, cause there's a number of things you just said in your answer, which was, which was inspiring to me. One was, that it was easy for you to take on your country. And one of the things I want to point out to people is if the Heaven on Earth project for you, the listener, is taking on Heaven on Earth and making your country Heaven on Earth, notice that Elizabeth said it's easy. So a lot of people have the judgment, it's hard, but Elizabeth said, no, it's easy. And that that's fascinating to me. Why was it easy for you? Because there is such a, a high standard of, of living in Austria, so therefore it's easy for me. We are only 8 million people, so uh, I think also this um, amount makes it easier for me to think about. Uh, maybe I, I wouldn't like, or I wouldn't um, think about to do it in in United States of America or, or uh, whole Europe. And and then I decided to do it for the rest of my life. So I'm six years now, and I maybe I have 30 years, so I can <laughs> I have some time in front of me to <laughs> to work on it. <laughs> but um, yes, I started. So another point, thing I wanted to point out, folks, is that notice that what she said was it became easy for her. It became something from her heart, which I'll go to in a second. And I think the critical point for me, Elizabeth, is that you started. And I think that's the essence of Heaven on Earth. If you have a Heaven on Earth project within you or an idea, starting is the first act. And that gets you into the game. The second thing you said to me that was really interesting, Elizabeth, was it was in my heart first. And then it went to my head. Tell me about that. What was in your heart in my heart is the, the vision of a good life for everybody on, on this planet. Um, everybody wants to live in paradise and, and deserves to, to live in paradise. And so that's, that's my core uh, aim. And, but the, the all day problems, all day life problems are the, the, the next question and, and how to solve one after another and, and how, who can help and who can work together to solve the problems. And so that's the, the everyday work to bring people together to work. 
So it's interesting too for me that you, you know most people when they look at their country and having that heaven on earth, that's big and oh my God, it's impossible. But notice what you did. You have this vision for paradise earth. And so obviously yes. if you have heaven on earth, on earth for our earth, then Austria becomes just a little part of that. And so we flip the thing from it's too big, I can't do it to, oh, well, I can take on Austria. That's simple. And that comes clearly very much for me too, for your heart, from your heart. And then you decided to do a wiki and talk about the wiki. Um, and we're going to put the uh, the website up for the wiki. Um, is It's both in English and in German because you want to get to the German-speaking world of, of Austria, Switzerland, Germany, and wherever else people speak, speak German, but also in English. Um, and, and tell me about the process of setting up the wiki and where you are with that now. I started with institutions and um, especially internet uh, websites from Austria. And it was so fascinating for me. To, uh, every day I uh, found new groups and and sites and um, and i'm sure and if i live for 50 years <laughs> from now on i won't be, uh, get to an end from this work um it's a bit it, i only i don't speak italian or spanish or arabic so it's i at the time now i only collect english sites and, and the Austrian sites, of course. And when I see something in the newspaper about a person who makes some project in, in, in another country or I read about an institution, so I, I always have my eyes open in every media to uh, find new um, heaven makers to put them on the wiki. Here's what's interesting, Elizabeth. Notice, at folks, too, that she had this commitment to have heaven on earth for the world and for Austria. And in that commitment and from that commitment, she now starts looking every day. How can I? Is, oh, there's something I can put on the wiki. There's something I can put on the wiki. And I found that to be true, Elizabeth, for, for all heaven makers, that when they have this notion of what their heaven on earth project is, they start looking for examples and evidence and proof that they can come that they can bring into their project to strengthen their project and that's exactly what you're doing and what's the effect been what has that done for you um it makes me happy personally yeah. <laughs> because it's it's much more fun to watch the good things on earth than the bad things on, on the news and um It makes people happy when I tell them that I put them on the Heaven on Earth wiki. So they are really proud about it. And, and <laughs> So have and you seen an effect with other people too? Yes, they're, they're yes, proud. I have. Talk about yes. that. Yes. What, what's they the are, effect? And, and, and they are also surprised because then they look at the wiki and see how uh, many or other groups are working in the same area they didn't know until now or until then and and so i hope that there will start more connections between people in the same area of work and that's my my hope and i'm i'm sure it it will happen because if you have the information on one screen so it's easier for you to get in contact with, with, with other people. I think what's happening, what I've been noticing since I've started to do these Heaven Maker interviews, Elizabeth, is that we, Heaven Makers, is starting to show up. It's no longer just about me, the individual. It's about we, the collective. As, so as more and more people, you know, here I am in Canada at this present moment, here you are in Lienz, Austria, and we're on the same page doing the same thing. So, yeah, and I see the light in your face. It's not only reflected <laughs> off your face, but in your face. I mean, this is making you very happy. And I think it what, is, yes. the, the other thing that you're doing for me is you're normalizing this. You're saying to people in Austria and around the world, you can have heaven on earth for your country. And it's easy. The first thing you have to do is, if it's true for you to do that, start. Just start. Mm. 
and start uh, looking for others who do something special or something good and uh, as small it may be if there is only um, we have some teacher in our surrounding he went to Uganda and to Kenya and teaches and brings um, school dish um, tables and and uh, and uniforms to uh, children there. Yeah. F for me, it's one bustle. I see that the heaven on earth is, is, is a, a <laughs> collection of a lot of bustle. Pieces of pieces, the puzzle. Pieces of, of, of a puzzle. And, and there are small pieces and there are huge pieces and everyone, or every piece is very important for the whole picture and the whole paradigm. Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth, I don't know a more beautiful way of saying it than what, you, what you've said it. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to say? Anything you want to say to people who are listening about if they want to take on heaven on earth for their country? What, what, what's your message to them? Mm, that's a lot of fun and it's worth every hour you spend doing it. Thank you so much. Vielen Dank. Thank you so, Thank so you much. Thank you for my heart and to wish you all a good life and, and wish all um, everybody heaven on earth. Thank you so much, Elizabeth.